Hey everyone, Mark the Movie Man here. Welcome to the final cut, the show that never ends. Glad you could attend. Come inside as we take a look at Gut. Yes, Gut is brought to us by writer-director Elias, and it tells us the story of Tom, who's hit a slump in his life. He's not happy at home with his wife, even when they're being intimate, and she's being very amorous uh, at work. He's very unfulfilled there. And then there's the relationship he has with his longtime buddy and work partner, Dan. Now, Dan decides to salvage their friendship by them sharing the experience experience of watching an extreme underground film that involves someone, well, you know, the title Gut, you can imagine. Well, after experiencing this video, uh, Tom is suddenly obsessed with this video and it, it affects his fantasies, it affects his relationship with his wife, as well as even playtime with his daughter. It's just really screwed up his brain. And as his buddy Dan gets another video, he's repulsed yet, uh, you know, drawn to the movie. Folks, Gut is uh, a slow burner, to say the least. Now, we've seen this uh, subject before uh, covered in other independent films, the effects of, say, an extreme horror film or a snuff film and the effect it has on its viewers. This one really takes a while to get there. It percolates almost a little bit too long, okay? Now, uh, first off, you do have some great camera work in here. We're going to start off there. I uh, love the camera shots in here. Nothing ever is shaky or out of place. We have, you know, it's definitely got a great production value. Sets and lighting and everything there really work and it makes it feel like a true film and not someone shooting it in their backyard. So props there on the production value as well as the audio. And then you've got a soundtrack in here that helps emphasize some of the things going on because there's parts where there's not dialogue, just uh, actors trying to convey emotion through facial expressions and stuff and the soundtrack really helps emphasize what's kind of going on internally in their mind. So I really liked that. The guy playing Dan, Nicholas Wilder, does really well as the hurt third wheel friend who's on the outs with his married buddy uh, and I really liked his performance. It really, really felt authentic there. And it, there is some nudity and sex scenes in here but those are handled well. Those are shot well and they don't seem like they're just put in there to put there it seems a natural progression in the script and if this was real life that's where things were gone so uh you know i loved all those elements about the film uh the, the thing that few things though is i think it took a little bit too much time on uh, building up the uh outs of the friendship you know I, I think we got it right away just like we got fairly quick that tom is in this slump but i think it took just a little bit longer than it needed to be to get where it's going to where tom and dan see the video and then we see the effects of that video from there also leading with the effects of the video tom i really liked how it they wrote how it affected his home life and how after seeing this film it really affected just about everything every aspect of his life but Except when he was at work. Uh, I don't know uh, if he turned it off, if that's what they were going for. But, you know, I would have liked to see a little more consistency in his obsession of this film. Now, you do get some obsession of this film with Dan, though uh, Dan blows this film off more than he should until, you know, there's a certain event that makes him realize these things could be real. And then the film gets towards the end, and you've got a whodunit going on, which I enjoyed as well, where they kept you guessing at who did it. Uh, but they leave it open at the end, which some people may like and some people not, with, you know, is who, where did these videos really come from? We don't exactly get an answer for it. It's alluded to, but they leave it open for you to put together and you decide, which some people may enjoy and some people not. It's a very subtle film, folks, for the subject matter that it's in. The extreme video actually isn't that extreme compared to some of the other movies that we've seen of this subject. It's trying to go for more of a psychological effect of what you don't see than what you do see. And and, uh, you know, I liked that angle, but again, there's some folks out there that may not. So, if you're looking for something different in independent uh, horror film, as something very subtle and not too extreme, yet it covers the subject of extreme, like, snuff films, then Gut is definitely for you. I suggest you check it out. It's a solid effort uh, by this group. Uh, all the performers do well with the script they're given, and by the end, it should give you something to discuss with your friends. And that'll about do it for us here at the Final Cut. Until next time, keep that ticket stop.